Following information has been provided from the books of Mrs. Lakshmi and Co. for the year ending 31st March 2020. You are given net working capital is 4,80,000, bank overdraft 80,000, fixed assets to proprietary ratio is 0.75, reserves and surplus are 3,20,000, current ratio is 2.5, liquid ratio that is quick ratio is 1.5. You are required to prepare a summarized balance sheet as at 31st March 2020. Okay, it's a simple problem. I have picked up this from revision test paper of ICAI. Let's get started. Okay, so from where shall we start? We are given networking capital, which is nothing but current assets minus current liability. We are also given current ratio, which is current asset by current liability. So there is a relationship between these two. Using this, we can get started. So let's have a working note one. Working note one. We'll make use of current ratio so that we can find out current asset and current liability. Okay, so we'll say computation of current asset and current liability. So we know current ratio is equal to, what is the current ratio given? It is 2.5. So how we can express this current ratio? Current asset divided by current liabilities is equal to 2.50 so what we can say we can say current assets is equal to 2.5 times of current liability okay 2.5 times of current liabilities okay this is one information we have and on the other side we also know we know networking capital is equal to so much how much the information what we have in the question let's see it is 4 lakh 80000 okay perfect so it's it's 4 lakh 80000 it means current asset minus current liability is equal to 4 lakh 80000 already we know current assets is 2.5 times of current liability Okay, what do we know? Current assets is 2.5 times of current liability. So why not we bring that over here? 2.5 times of current liability, okay, minus current liability is equal to 4,80,000. So what we get? 1.5 times of current liability because 2.5 minus 1. 1.5 times of current liability is equal to 4,80,000. So we can say current liability is equal to 4,80,000. We'll bring this 1.5 to the right hand side to the denominator. Divided by 1.5, we get current liability is equal to how much? 3,20,000. And now finding the value of current assets is very simple because what do we know? Current assets is nothing but 2.5 times of current liability. So we know the value of current liability now, which is 3,20,000. So what is the value of current assets now? I'll just put it as CA is equal to 2.5 into 3,20,000. So what is the value? It is 8 lakhs. So in this way, we have derived current asset and current liability. Simple. Go back to the question. We are also given liquid ratio. Liquid ratio is nothing but liquid assets by current liability. Okay. And uh, now we know what is the value of uh, current asset we know what is the value of current liability and what is the liquid assets it's basically current asset minus inventory right so that information is going to help us to find the value of inventory so i'll call that as working note two so this is a working note one and here we have yeah i'll put it here working note two which is computation of inventory computation of inventory and how do we calculate this we are given liquid ratio what is liquid ratio liquid ratio is equal to liquid assets divided by current liability liquid assets divided by current liability
and what is liquid asset liquid assets is nothing but current assets minus inventory okay and current liability of course we know so let's fill that now liquid ratio is equal to liquid asset which is nothing but current asset minus inventory so in the numerator we'll say current assets minus inventory this is in the numerator and in the denominator we'll just mention current liability and what is the liquid ratio information we have it is 1.5 1.5 is equal to on the right hand side current asset minus inventory what is current asset it is 8 lakh it's in the numerator 8 lakh minus inventory divided by current liability which is in the denominator which is 3 lakh 20 thousand so let's bring 3 lakh 20 thousand on the denominator of right hand side to the left hand side so it is 1.5 into 3 lakh 20 thousand is equal to 8 lakh minus inventory so what is 1.5 into 3 lakh 20 thousand let's see 1.5 into 3 lakh 20 thousand gives 4 lakh 80 thousand and that is equal to 8 lakh minus inventory so this gives rise to the value of inventory how bring this 4 lakh 80 thousand to the right hand side take inventory to the left hand side so we can say inventory is nothing but 8 lakhs minus 4 lakh 80 thousand so what is the value we get inventory is equal to 3 lakh 20 thousand so simple we have derived the value of inventory right next what else we have yes we are given bank overdraft we'll use it we are given fixed assets to proprietary ratio this is going to help us to find out something very important let's see i'll take it like this we'll move on working note number three working note three see using proprietary ratio what is the formula for proprietary ratio i mean what is given fixed assets to proprietary fund the proportion of proprietary funds used for creating fixed assets is 0.75 which is nothing but fixed assets by proprietary fund so we'll be in a position to find out the value of fixed assets here we'll be in a position to find out the proprietary fund also let's see how it goes so working note 3 computation of proprietary fund and computation of proprietary fund and fixed assets the information what we have is fixed assets to proprietary ratio and the ratio is how much 0 0.75 so how do we express this fixed assets divided by proprietary funds is equal to 0 0.75 okay now we have a catch we neither know fixed assets nor the proprietary funds but we know something else what is that see we know networking capital is 4 lakh 80 thousand this networking capital is nothing but the long-term funds which has been used for supporting the working capital or supporting the current assets so if 75 percent of the proprietary funds has been utilized for creating fixed assets as per this ratio what happened to the remaining 25 percent of proprietary funds obvious it has been used for networking capital so we can infer that networking capital by proprietary funds will be 0.25 okay and we know networking capital is how much 4 lakh 80 thousand divided by proprietary fund is going to be 0.25 and where does it take us we can bring the 0.25 to the left hand side denominator 4 lakh 80 thousand divided by 0.25 will give proprietary fund so we'll say proprietary fund is equal to 4 lakh 80 thousand divided by 0.25 which works out to 19 lakh 20 thousand okay we got proprietary funds and using this we'll find out fixed assets also so bring this formula here 
fixer assets by proprietary funds is 0.75 okay so we'll say fixed assets is nothing but proprietary funds into 0.75 okay so fixed assets is equal to how much proprietary funds into 0.75 so that is 14,40,000 so we got the answer for fixed assets also now next what else we have to do using this proprietary fund we can find something else what is that because we are given information about reserves and surplus so let's carry another working note we'll have working note 4 working note 4 computation of capital or derivation of capital we can say we know proprietary funds is equal to how much 19,20,000 and we are given reserves and surplus is 3,20,000. We are given R and S in the question is 3,20,000. So from proprietary funds, if you deduct the reserves and surplus, what do you get? You get capital. Okay, so this is the capital. Capital is nothing but 16 lakhs. Next, what else we can find? We know current liabilities and here we have information about bank overdraft which is part of current liability so we'll be able to find out other current liabilities so working note 5 other current liabilities other current liabilities and how do we do it we'll take current liabilities already we have calculated what is the current liabilities value it is 3 lakh uh, something yeah three lakh twenty thousand from that let's deduct bank overdraft and that's eighty thousand so once we deduct that we get three lakh twenty minus eighty thousand it is two lakh forty thousand and that's nothing but your other current liabilities okay so here we derived capital and here we derived other current liabilities what else we also have current assets we have inventories so we can find out other current assets working note 6 other current assets and what is the value of current assets we have current assets we can pick up from that let's deduct inventory so we get to know other current assets other current assets so what is the value of current assets let's go to the earlier working note somewhere we have yes here we have eight eight lakhs from that we have to deduct inventory so inventory we computed somewhere over here what is the value of inventory it is three lakh twenty thousand okay let me put that three lakh twenty thousand so deduct eight lakh minus three lakh twenty thousand you get four lakh eighty thousand that's your other current assets okay so it's time for us to prepare the balance sheet We'll do it here. We'll put it roughly. Balance sheet as at 31st March 2020. First, we'll capture the equity and liabilities head. So, look, the structure is ready. Let's go and capture item by item. So, we have capital here, which is 16 lakhs. This is capital, and the amount is this one 16 lakhs. Then we have reserves and surplus. And this is the amount, 3,20,000. Okay. Then we also know there is a bank overdraft, which we have factored here, 80,000. Then there are other current liabilities. Other current liabilities, which we'll pick from here, it is 2,40,000. Okay, these are all the items mostly on this side and on the asset side we know fixed assets. Fixed assets, let's go and pick up that. Where do we have? It's not in working note. Yeah, here we have. It is 14 lakh 40,000. It's 14 lakh 40,000. That's fixed assets. Then we have stock. Stock already we know. I think uh, we can even pick from here inventory. Then there are other current assets. 
other current assets which is 480,000 okay let's do the total and check this 22,40,000 yes 22,40,000 and we are done with this balance sheet now 